Chrissy here from the Creative Eclectic. Hope you're having a fabulous day. Well, it's almost St. Patrick's Day. It's actually coming up next week. And I wanted to share with you a couple of little projects that I did for our craft fair at Ormiston House. And I figured I needed a couple of things that had a St. Patrick's Day theme. So I went through my catalogue and on page 36 I found the Best Bunny stamp set. Now this isn't a stamp set that I would normally have in my collection but I really thought the bunny was quite cute so I thought you know I have to get that one and it comes in a bundle so you can save 10% because and it's on it and then matching punch. So I grabbed that stamp set and I also grabbed, so we've got the Best Bunny stamp set. It's a photopolymer stamp set so you can see through it. It's got lots of little two-step stamping layers and I also grabbed one of my retired stamp sets the teeny tiny sentiments because that had a happy St. Patrick's Day sentiment in there and I didn't have a current set that has that. So, and if you have a chance to get this set, make sure you do. Um, even though it's retired, you might find it on eBay or at a garage sale or something like that. If you get an opportunity, buy it because it's such a good set and it's one of those forever sets that you're going to keep in your stash and you'll go back and you'll use it time and time again. Okay, so let's have a look at the project and I've got a few projects that are very similar. So I'll just show you the easiest one. So this is the hat from the, this hat here from the Best Bunny stamp set. I've stamped the Happy St. Patrick's Day on a piece of white cardstock. And I've got these lovely little green hearts. So the green hearts actually come from the um, punch that coordinates with the Happy Tales stamp set, which is the puppy punch. And it's got a lovely green, lovely little heart punch there. So I just used that as well. So making projects is use about using what's in your stash okay so let me just show you this card this is such a cute little card you open it up so i've used designer series paper which comes from the annual catalog i've also used the color me clover um, ribbon now this ribbon's only available until the 3rd of June this year. Okay. I've used some basic black Colour Me Clovers cardstock and I've used some gold foil scraps and some black scraps. Now I made the cauldron using a circle punch but you could use a circle die and then I've punched out some smaller circles as well. And this here, this piece, the lip of the cauldron, that's just a piece of cardstock that I've fed into my punch and rounded the end. That's really such a cute idea. And it's got room for the person to write and because every Irish card needs a pot of gold at the end of their rainbows, so that's why it's got gold in it. So you might think, oh, it's got so much cardstock, well, waste a lot. And actually, the beauty of this card is that it doesn't use, it uses half an A4 sheet of cardstock and less than one sheet of the 6x6 DSP. And the little bits that you have left, you'll be able to use them on a tag or something. Okay, so let me just show you how the card, the base card was cut. So 
So I've got my half a sheet of cardstock. I've scored it in the middle and then I've cut this first panel in half. So then when you close that up, you can use this little panel here. You're going to score that and that's going to be your bit that folds over the front. How easy is that? And you can adjust the width of that panel. You can make it smaller or make it bigger, whatever you like. But I just found cutting it basically in half made it a really good size. The other thing on this card is that I've done a little bit differently is the hat. Now I've blended that with the stamping blends. So I used, I didn't have any colour near clover or, so I used shaded spruce and the basic black juros. But you'll notice there's no dark black line around the hat. So normally when you stamp with stamping blends, you would actually stamp in memento ink. But I decided, well, and quite by accident, because I was going to watercolour, but my watercolouring, I decided to use my classic Colour Me Clover ink pad. And I could have used shaded spruce. I just had that out on the table. And I stamped just the outline on the um, thick white, white cardstock. So you could use any cardstock you like. Thick white was just a piece of scrap that I had hanging around. And when you colour it, you'll actually notice that the blends will cause the um, classic ink outline to smudge a little. But because you're cutting it out, or because I cut it out, I wasn't worried about that because I could fix that with my... Um, Fussy cutting. And so here we go. We have our finished little hat. And every time I've coloured these hats, I've turned out a little bit differently. So I made a huge stash of these cards. So this one, again, using the same fold, just the other paper that's in the... Um, The pack of designer series paper that's probably not my favorite because I prefer something a little bit brighter I then also made a full cauldron so it's just a little bit different then I thought I oh, will just fill the hat with some gold because leprechauns love their gold Oh, it's smudged. I'm going to have to fix that one. So, there you go. And I've used the scraps of DSP that were left over to fill in the inside. Oh, what I didn't tell you is on this piece here, I used the um, black cord for the hat band just to give it a bit more interest. And this is also from the annual catalogue. And lastly, this is my last little one. So I just had an oval in my stash. See, I've coloured that one much lighter. And I haven't decorated that inside bit. I figured they might want to write on it. So there you go. I have five completely different cards using the same paper, well, the same designer series paper collection and the same stamp set. And they all look completely different. I really hope you enjoyed this project and I will have all of the 
details of the materials used in the comments down below or in the description down below. And if you like this project, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. YouTube. Oh goodness, YouTube channel, and also subscribe to my newsletter. Um, because when you subscribe to my newsletter, you'll also get exclusive content as well. Okay, until next time, happy stamping! Mm -hmm.